Well, we compared it with things like quasars, uh, active galaxies. Uh, we thought it was probably some exotic new kind of object. It was only after some thought and uh, theoretical modeling that we realized that it was uh, most closely related to these star-forming H2 regions that we know about locally, and indeed you can see through, through small telescopes. Have you ever wondered what keeps astronomers up at night? Is being an astronomer as dreamy as it sounds, discovering the world beyond stars and whatnot? You might rethink everything you think you know after seeing the top 10 bizarre discoveries that absolutely left the space wanderers gobsmacked. Don't blink, don't look away, because these are real and they will blow your mind. Let's dive right in. Number 10, the star that shouldn't exist. In 2005, the Hubble Space Telescope locked its gaze on a star called HD 140283, famously nicknamed the Methuselah Star. Why that nickname? Because buckle up, this star appears to be 14.5 billion years old. Here's the cosmic punchline. The universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. Wait, how? You would think. This raises one of the biggest puzzles in astronomy. Did we miscalculate the age of the star? Or does this point to unknown physics, maybe even hints about the conditions before the Big Bang? Astronomers suspect it was born in a dwarf galaxy that was swallowed by the Milky Way, a cosmic refugee carrying secrets from the dawn of time. To add on, the Methuselah star is speeding through space at 1.3 million kilometers per hour. It's one of the fastest moving stars we've ever seen in our galaxy. Could it hold clues about the birth of the universe, or are we missing something even bigger? Either way, this leads astronomers and scientists to believe the unbelievable that is far beyond science's reach for now. Let's move on to Number 9. The Boater's Void, The Great Nothing Imagine this. You point your telescope into the night sky, expecting to see a dazzling sea of stars, but instead, you see nothing. No stars, no galaxies, no glowing gas just a vast black emptiness stretching across space. That's the Booter's Void, a monstrous cosmic hole roughly 330 million light years across. To wrap your head around that, if the Milky Way were floating inside the Booter's Void, we wouldn't even know other galaxies exist. It's so huge that if you traveled at the speed of light, it would still take you 330 million years to cross it. But here's where things get truly weird. Astronomers estimate that such a region should contain about 2,000 galaxies, yet inside the boat is void. There are only 60. It's like someone scooped out a chunk of the universe and left behind a cosmic desert. And the biggest mystery, we have no idea why it's even there. Some scientists suggest it's the result of random cosmic evolution, just an extreme case of how matter clumps and spreads in the universe. But others float more chilling ideas. The boater's void is also often called the Great Nothing, but in reality, it may hold secrets that could rewrite our understanding of the cosmos. Could it be the scar of a collision with another universe? Or a sign of unknown forces shaping space on unimaginable scales? So the real question is, is this void just empty space? Or is it hiding something waiting to be discovered? Number 8. The planet that rains. Glass sideways. HD 189733b isn't just another distant exoplanet, it's a nightmare world straight out of science fiction. From far away, its stunning deep blue color makes it look like Earth, but that's where the resemblance ends. Winds scream at 5,400 miles per hour, 8,700 kilometers per hour. That's seven times faster than Earth's strongest hurricanes. Temperatures soar to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, 930 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. And then there's the rain, molten glass, whipped sideways by those hellish winds. The blue hue? It's not water or oceans. It's caused by tiny silicate particles scattering blue light. Isn't that absolutely intriguing? When astronomers first confirmed this with the Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, it sent shockwaves through the exoplanet research world. And here's a mind blower. HD 189733b is so close to its star that its year lasts only two Earth days. Imagine living on a planet where the seasons change every 48 hours. Could a world like this ever form life? Or would it tear apart anything that tried? What do you think? Drop down your views in the comment below. Number seven, 
the galaxy without dark matter. Dark matter is the universe's invisible scaffolding, or so we thought. Then came NGC 1052-DF2, a faint ultra-diffuse galaxy 65 million light-years away, with almost no dark matter. Galaxies are supposed to need dark matter to stay bound. Without it, they should just fly apart. But this one just hangs there. It's so diffuse that you could see right through it. The stars are spread out like scattered fireflies. The crazy part is that when scientists measured its mass using nearby globular clusters, they realized it only had as much mass as its visible matter. No extra dark mass. Some theories suggest this galaxy might have formed in a violent cosmic collision that stripped away its dark matter. Others wonder if we've misunderstood dark matter itself. If galaxies can survive without dark matter, what else have we gotten wrong about the universe? How much do we know? Is it enough or even close? Number six, rogue planets, worlds without suns. Imagine a world without sunrise or sunset, just eternal darkness. That's the reality for rogue planets, cosmic orphans flung away from their stars and left to drift alone. In 2020, the Ogle survey detected a free-floating Earth mass planet, adding fuel to the idea that dark hidden Earths are lurking out there. Astronomers believe there may be billions of these wanderers in the Milky Way, possibly outnumbering stars. Some rogue planets may be Jupiter-sized giants, while others might be rocky worlds like Earth. Despite the cold, some could have underground oceans heated by radioactive decay or tidal forces, offering a glimmer of habitability. Could rogue planets be secret homes for alien life, or even escape destinations for future humans? Number 5. Fast Radio Bursts – FRBs in 2007, a telescope in Australia caught a millisecond-long radio pulse that unleashed as much energy as 500 million suns. The source, you might wonder. It came from billions of light-years away and no one knew what caused it. We called it the first fast radio burst, FRB. Since then, astronomers have detected hundreds more. Some FRBs blast once and vanish forever. Others repeat regularly, like clockwork, baffling scientists. Some seem to cluster in strange locations, like the outskirts of galaxies or even inside globular clusters. Here's the mind-bender. One repeating FRB seems to flare every 16 days, almost like it's on a timer. Another was detected coming from inside the Milky Way, traced back to a magnetar, giving the first solid clue to their origins. But wild theories remain. Could they be colliding neutron stars or black holes? Or are they alien beacons or starship engines, like the sci-fi concept of light sails? In 2019, Chinese scientists spotted an FRB so powerful, it bent theories on how much energy the universe can pack into a single flash. Just a thought. What if FRBs are a cosmic Morse code and we just haven't cracked the message? Number 4. A star that disappeared. Imagine watching a colossal star 75 times the mass of the sun. Then one day, it's gone. That's exactly what happened in the Kinman Dwarf Galaxy in 2019. Astronomers had monitored this massive, unstable star for over a decade, expecting it to explode in a blazing supernova. Instead, it vanished without a trace. There are two leading theories to this. Direct collapse. The star may have skipped the supernova, and collapsed quietly into a black hole. Orient giant eruption. The star could have puffed off its outer layers, hiding its core inside a dense shell of gas and dust. Here's where it gets wilder. If direct collapse is real, it's a phenomenon we've only theorized and never witnessed. It suggests black holes can be born in absolute silence, lurking undetected in the dark. Could we be surrounded by black holes silently forming across the universe, right under our noses, there can be a ton of speculations for this one. Let's move on to number three, the coldest place in the universe. The Boomerang Nebula is a glowing ghost in the Centaurus constellation. It's the coldest known natural place in the universe. Temperature, one Kelvin just above absolute zero. If you didn't know, that's colder than deep space, colder than the faint afterglow of the Big Bang itself. Why is it so cold? This dying star's outer layers are expanding at over 300,000 miles per hour, cooling the gas through rapid expansion like a cosmic air conditioner. If you placed a spacecraft inside, no known material could withstand the freezing temperatures. 
It's so cold that matter inside approaches a quantum state where particles practically stop moving. Are there even colder objects waiting to be discovered? And could they unlock new physics or even hold clues to dark matter? Number two, the magnetar that hit Earth. On December 27, 2004, Earth was blasted by a wave of gamma rays from SGR 1806-20, a magnetar 50,000 light years away. It was the brightest event ever recorded outside the solar system. It outshone the full moon in gamma rays. It ionized the upper atmosphere. It knocked out satellite instruments and disrupted radio communication worldwide. Magnetas are the monsters of the cosmos. They have magnetic fields a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. A magnetar's crust can crack under magnetic stress, causing massive gamma ray flares. Some so intense they could fry Earth's ozone layer if they occurred within a few dozen light years. Even crazier, some scientists think magnetars could power FRBs, linking two great mysteries. If a magnetar ever passed close to Earth, its field could wipe the magnetic stripes off credit cards from thousands of miles away. Isn't that crazy? What's scarier to you, a nearby supernova or an invisible magnetar ready to blast Earth without warning? Let us know down in the comments. At last, the WOW signal. Number one, WOW signal. August 15th. 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University picks up a narrowband signal at 1,420 MHz, the frequency of neutral hydrogen, often dubbed the cosmic waterhole where aliens might broadcast. Strength, 30 times above background noise. Duration, 72 seconds. Location, deep space with no known source. Astronomer Jerry Amon circled it on the printout and scribbled, wow, and for nearly 50 years, no one has explained it. Even after repeated scans of the same region, the signal never reappeared. Some think it was an alien transmission. Others suspect it was a freak Earth-based reflection. A few researchers believe it came from cometary hydrogen clouds, but the debate rages on. Endless speculations. Though in 2016, astronomers proposed a specific comet might have been the culprit, but follow-up observations didn't fully match the data. Was this humanity's first brush with alien contact, and if they call again, will we even notice? So here we are, standing on a tiny blue dot, staring into the dark ocean of the cosmos. We've caught whispers of alien signals. We've watched stars collapse in silence. We've felt the invisible punch of magnetars. And we've seen the coldest corners of the universe, where matter nearly freezes in time. For all our telescopes, satellites and science, the universe keeps its biggest secrets just out of reach and mysteries we can't yet explain. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, the weirdest, wildest discoveries might still be waiting to find us. If this video left you wondering what else is out there, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next cosmic mystery we uncover. And don't forget to tell us in the comments which discovery blew your mind the most or what space mystery should we cover next. Stay curious, stay cosmic, and remember, the universe is always watching back.